Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another Seeds of Success with Dottie San Martin and myself, Jane Nephew. Hey, guys. Thanks, Dottie, for joining us. Uh, today, we're going to talk about signs, signs, everywhere there's signs. What was that song? Wasn't that like a 90s song? Everywhere there's signs. So. Something up the scenery mess. Anyway, uh, do you have those signs all over your facility? Because if you do, Maybe you're sending the wrong sign. Maybe you got the wrong message with those signs. You know, signage is so important in a facility and you have all kinds of signage. You have directional signage. Where's the bathroom? Where's the arcade? Where's the restaurant? Whatever it may be. And you have, you know, informational signage. Just look for our promotions. Look at this and that. Look what we have. But then you also have those signs that you wish you didn't have sometimes. And th those are the ones that we're probably more addressing more than anything else is those uh, no outside food. <laughs> okay. Dottie's going right for the punch. No, 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 no. Don't do this. Don't do this. Don't touch here. No, 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 no. Do you know what kind of message that sends to your audience who's there to have just the greatest time? So some of these signs are necessary, Dottie, aren't they? But are they all? They, they, they are necessary, Jay. And you know, that's really where your experience starts. When a customer's yeah. coming into your center, and they see a big sign, usually, you know, in colors that kind of stand out because you want everybody to know that there is no outside food allowed, no exceptions. And that automatically starts that experience off with that net, that whole negative connotation around it. And, you know, we're wanting our customers to come in and have fun. We're wanting them to come in and tell them what they can do. They can come in, they can relax, they can eat, they can drink, they can enjoy themselves. But we need to be careful when we tell them what they can't do because it really does set the tone. You know, and it's interesting you say that that is the first sign that's on every bowling center door. Mm -hmm. they, uh, there's different terms for different parts of the country. Dan has a fun one that he says, no, no. I forget what he calls them, no travelers or something like that. Um, and, and down here in, in the south, uh, southern Texas, it's just, you know, no outside food, or but no drinks, no food brought in, stuff like that. What I think what you can take away from this is, you know, yeah, you're not going to allow everybody to bring their own food in your bowling center. I, I didn't when I managed my facilities, and I wouldn't uh, suggest everyone allow that now. You can also tell the story in a little more positive light, so to speak. You know, uh, let's go back to the pandemic for a minute. Remember what Bowl and Barrel did on their, on the, at their uh, front window during the, when, when we were, everybody's like, oh, it's not safe to go anywhere because of all the germs and uh, you touch. Bowl and Barrel, this was their brand, right? This was right on, spot on for them. We've got the cleanest balls in town and they're showed like a spray bottle with the, you know, with the bowling ball. They spun a little bit of humor into that. And why can't you do that with your signs? Maybe instead of no, no, no at the front door, you put a big plate of fries smothered in cheese and toppings and you say, we've got the best fries in the business so you can leave yours in the car or something funny like that. That would be a cute way to say, please don't bring your food in and look what we have. So you can maybe purpose two signs together. Dottie, what else do you say about signage? Well, you know, the, the and, and that goes a long way, not just for your signage, Jay, but that goes for even like your marketing material. And I think yeah. about, um, for example, birthday parties and how uh, a lot of times there's a whole list of disclaimers. You can't do this. You can't do that on birthday parties. And so that same theory goes for, for your marketing material too, your your internal signage and, and flyers and Facebook messages and all that. Just remember that, you know, you are setting the tone for their experience. Yeah, so if your answer is no, and certainly it has to be in many, many ways and, and, and shapes and times and reasons, Think about how you could say that better. So Dottie, uh, Dottie asked me, oh, can I bring a cake in? No, you can't bring a cake in, but what I can do for you is we have cakes that you can order. You know, no but, or yes and, you know, think about how you would want to receive that message yourself if you were uh, the customer. Maybe instead of saying no, I say, well, we don't allow that, but we are allowing this. And this is another alternative to what you're suggesting. So instead of saying, no, 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 you're saying, no, we want you to have a good time. Here's the way you can do it safely in our facility, or here's what we do allow. That's a different message than saying, it is. no. 
And, you know, Jay, since we are talking about, you know, kind of what, what signs are you sending, a pet peeve of mine, actually your signs say a lot about you. So, they communicate you know, your brand. They communicate a, little, a lot about your business without anybody ever interacting with a real employee sometimes. And, and again, when you go into a facility and you are looking for the restroom or you're looking for the party office, or whatever you're looking signage, for. Yeah. If you have to hunt to find what you're looking for, you're going to be a little bit more agitated than if it was just very clear, uh, very easy to find, very easy to read the signage. Um, and you know that also goes into play when it comes to like your food and beverage, your, your menu, your snack bar menu, or your restaurant menu. If I walk up to a snack bar and that, you know, they have the lighted sign where you take the little black letters and you put in your your description and your price. And if that clear or that white plastic is discolored or if there's letters missing, you know, maybe it's, you know, mm -hmm. missing the R in hamburger, that sends a message to me. I'm like, hmm. If that's what their menu board looks like, I wonder how that food is. Right, it's, it's telling you a lot about their standards. What are they accepting uh, is good enough? What do they accept is okay? And mm -hmm. if your sign's not clean, is your counter clean? Is the food being made there edible? Is it, you know, sanitary? So yeah, you need to give a lot of thought to all of your signs because are you sending the right sign by putting up these signs? Certainly you might have to hand write a sign from time to time, but that should be the rare exception to the rule. If you have a machine that goes down, a vending machine, make a very cute, um, sorry, I'm taking a break right now. That kind of a sign could add a little bit of humor and let people know that it's just not available. And yet it's not scrawled on a napkin taking yes. duct tape. And I'm going to take it one step further. A pet okay. peeve, if you're going to run it off on your copy machine and you're going to make copies of it, make sure it's straight. Make sure it's <laughs> logical. And when you put it up on the wall with a piece of tape and you take it down, make sure you get take the, the tape down. down. <laughs> <laughs> take the staples that out of the wall. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. We got staple pullers. We run around. I'll tell you right, right now, my staple pullers right here. I'll run around and, and pull staples out of the wall at the bowling center. That's just what I used to do because I couldn't stand it. Yeah. Everybody pull the paper down. Oh, and they might take the little corner off, but the staple's still there. Yeah. Take that and out. That, so. You know, that's something that's very, very simple. But it's paying attention to those little things like that that do really make a big difference. So, you know... Our, our takeaway on this, number one, is don't be the negative Nancy. Don't always start right. out every sign or every um, disclaimer with no, can't, don't, won't. Those are words that you try, should try to avoid if you can. Give it a different spin. Give it a positive spin instead of a negative one. Okay, and so what sign are you sending? Let's find out. You're going to do your homework today. You're going to walk through your, your facility with a fresh set of eyes. Maybe you grab someone else and go, I want you to point out every sign that you see here and just see what happens because you're going to, you're going to learn something today. I promise you. That's right. That's right. And share this seed with some of your staff members and ask them to do the same thing for you. You never know. They may be seeing something different than you. So thank you very much for joining us this, today for uh, our little podcast. We uh, hope that you will look at your center a little bit differently after today. So until next time, I'm Dottie Sammartine. This and is Jay, Jay Nephew, Nephew saying have a great day and keep growing your business one seed at a time.